Hey guys, Ron here, and over the last few years, I've made Pokemon based on what I saw on walks, video game characters, anime characters, and now, memes. Since some people hate walks, most people haven't played every video game, and many people don't watch anime, I thought memes would be the most universal inspiration. Y'all know at least four memes, and since I made these Pokemon on stream here on YouTube, you guys helped me pick some of the most popular memes to use as inspirations. So make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want to join any future Fakemon making stream. Also, keep in mind that all the Fakemon I've been making over the last year, including two of the ones from this video, are part of a future region of mine that I'm developing. Details on that project will be revealed eventually. We're going to begin with a high tier meme, Doge. Not the funniest, not the oldest, but one whose lifespan was longer than the average meme. It's simply a picture of an awkward looking Shiba Inu, usually accompanied by text that represents some kind of internal monologue in broken English. Doge was the number one meme exactly a decade ago. The longevity of the meme was prolonged by the cryptocurrency Dogecoin. So now Doge is definitely associated with money. That means we have more to work with than just a Japanese dog. How about I make an awkward looking dog that carries a giant golden coin and throws it like a frisbee? Kind of like Captain America and his shield. It stands still out of awkwardness, so it'll probably be stiff. So how about I just make it full-on gold-plated and therefore steel-type? I'll combine it with the Chinese Guardian Lions and she says exactly like Arcanine's inspiration. So there's now a reason for it to be made out of gold. It'll be a funny parallel to Meowth. So we'll begin by drawing the proportions of a Shiba Inu with a giant frisbee under its arm. It's the same pose as the giant uh, Guardian Lions, but with its head awkwardly turned to the side like Doge. The struggle will be trying to make it not look like a normal real life dog, but still keeping it uh, similar looking to the doge dog, whose face is the entire meme. It'll look awkward, but again, that's kind of the point. The other problem is that Hisui and Arcanine is literally based on the same thing, so anytime I have an idea for a design or pattern on this dog, it, it was already done on Hisui and Arcanine, so I decided that the unique patterns this doge will have is its swirls, spirals, uzumakis. It's a very awkward shape, I would say. It'll have metal orbs on its neck and armored shoulder pads and back. Chat wanted the coin to have a polka dollar or yen symbol on it, but it's supposed to be archaic and not have any modern symbols. The tail will be a stiff, solid mass. The entire dog will look stiff on purpose. It's basically a gold statue. Just adding spirals where necessary and adding the golden color scheme. Here is Kashiba, the concerned Pokemon, a steel and normal type. Kashiba is very weary of fights. It's a pacifist by nature and does not look for trouble, yet it can sense trouble a mile away. When there is no choice but to fight, it will launch its golden coin at the opponent with enough force to instantly incapacitate a Kaparaja. Its fur is made of a gold alloy. It is soft when gently touched, but extremely tough when faced with an impact. Kashiba are anxious yet rational. They think before they act, even when confronted with an awkward situation. Kashiba are independent and skeptical, but very open to friendship. The orbs on its neck are actually clumps of golden fur that it needs into its large coin. They grow back after a few days, once plucked. They're shiny as silver, and they have the ability good as gold. I genuinely wonder if this Pokemon would be good competitively, so let me know. It was tough developing the final design of this guy since he looks awkward throughout the entire process, but I'm very glad with the end product. Dude looks shiny and that's all I wanted. Next is the longest lasting meme. All your base belong to Rickroll. Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley is the anthem of the internet, a troll in song form, something we can't get out of our heads. There are multiple animals associated with music, like uh, the Mockingbird, and I even considered a snake that looks like a polka flute, but I do think the perfect representation for the meme would be an earworm. Now, earworms are caterpillars that literally eat ears of corn, but the term is mostly in reference to a tune that can get stuck in people's heads like a worm in an ear. So why not make a literal singing worm? One that mimics the cries of other Pokemon to fool you. Kinda like how Rickrolling is used. We'll take inspiration from the various outfits Rick Astley wears in his music video. We'll begin with a serpentine body with a pompadour on its head and a microphone on its tail. Specifically the kind of microphone in the music video. It'll have this membrane in front of its eyes that look like the sunglasses Rick wears in the video too. It's also singing by the way. A collar-like flap on its neck as well as a uh, little caterpillar legs. It's similar to a silkworm. That's what's covering its body and tail, by the way, silk. Gonna give it uh, ginger lines in the front and black and white in the back, like the shirt he's wearing on stage and the trench coat in the alley. Making the face pink ties it all together. Check out Trick Roll, the astonishing Pokemon, a bug normal type. 
Trickwall are able to mimic the voice of any Pokemon. They enjoy the sound of their songs and will dance along to their tunes. Trickwall will hide in a patch of grass and mimic the voice of powerful yet rare Pokemon. This helps deter predators, but eager trainers will often run in the direction of Trickwall's song, hoping to find a rare Pokemon only to encounter a singing Trickwall. The hollow bulb at the end of Trickwall's tail amplifies Trickwall's voice. Their skin is covered in smooth silk that keeps it clean and warm, and the translucent membrane covering its eyes shields it from snow and sand. It can basically be found in most climates. Once it gains the trust of a bamboozled trainer, it is extremely loyal. They never abandon a loved one and will only use their abilities to help their trainer. Trickwell has a signature ability, Surprising Voice. This gives priority to sound-based moves. This hopefully compensates for its slow speed stat. It will even get some stab from moves like Echoed Voice and Boom Burst. I know it doesn't look exactly like an English 80s pop star, but I think the concept really came together and gave us a cute little guy to enjoy. I'm super happy with how this Pokemon's lore is very faithful to the nature of Rickrolling. Now we'll use a short-lived meme that had a huge impact when it was relevant. Nyan Cat. It's literally just a Pop-Tart cat flying through space as it sings an infectious tune. I mean, honestly, another example of an earworm. This will be our most faithful fake mon in the video since it already looks closer to a fantastical animal than anything so far. The only thing is that I don't want it to be simply a cat with a Pop-Tart body and rainbow trail. We have pastry dogs in Pokemon, but they are, they're all based on existing uh, associations, like how some dogs have loose skin that looks like dough, while cats and Pop-Tarts have nothing to do with each other. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a celestial cat and have it take inspiration from the Nekomata. Just like almost every cat in Pokemon, so many of them have split tails like this yokai, and so will our Nyan cat. Each tail will be a different color in the rainbow. It'll be space themed, so instead of sprinkles on his back, it'll have stars. Cats are known for getting into small spaces, so this will be our connection between cats and a very flat Pop-Tart. It'll have a flat, stretched out body like a long cat. So I'm gonna begin by drawing a long cat, in fact. Just a jumping cat with a round, neon cat-shaped face. Instead of a rainbow, six cattails. It'll be Roy G. Biv without the eye. The thing is, it just looks like a normal cat now, so I'm gonna enlarge the back to make it a tiny bit more Pop-Tart shaped without making it have a full-blown Pop-Tart body. The icing will just be a pattern that looks like a nebula with stars instead of sprinkles. After fiddling with the face, we decided to make the whiskers star shaped. Once the color is added, it all comes together. It's literally Nyan Cat colors, but I added spots on the paws to make it more cohesive. Behold, Nyabula, the endless Pokemon. A fairy psychic type. This Pokemon is able to stretch its body into a nearly two-dimensional state, allowing it to soar through the sky at near light speed. Its rainbow tails propel it through the sky. It sings as it flies. It is said that hearing Nyabula's full melody will bring eternal joy. The star-shaped patterns on its back glisten and glow when it's happy. Nyabula eats stardust and is able to fit in any crevice. It was once believed that this Pokemon was simply dim-witted, but it is now hypothesized that Nyabula is so incredibly intelligent that its blank face is a result of having understood all of this galaxy's secrets. Perhaps its desire to reach the edge of our galaxy gives it hope that there is more for it to learn outside of the Milky Way. It has the ability to levitate, and its shiny is more Pop-Tart colored. This one is definitely the most faithful. I believe the face is even more adorable than Nyan Cat's somehow. It was tough making this Pokemon realistic, at least in terms of this franchise, but I decided to just have fun with it instead. And the final meme today is gonna be the Gigachad meme. These pictures of jacked models are used online to represent peak masculine energy. Anytime a man is seen as desirable or superior, this meme is referenced. The ultra masculine proportions of these models are kind of uncanny, so let's make an uncanny Pokemon. I'm going to take inspiration from the strongman trope, which sometimes wear these uh, animal print outfits. I'll combine it with Onis, the Japanese ogres that also wear animal print loin cloths. I mean, they're not, it's not animal print, it's literally fur. And I'll give it an Oni horn, but combine it with the spiky head of a Chad from the incel memes. All of these elements will be used to create a buff monster that is made of clay, a stretchy Pokemon that literally sculpts its body to make it look more muscular. Let's do this. Originally, the whole concept of this guy was that it was fighting type with the mastery of calisthenics. So basically, it can stretch well, but this pose was a little too involved for a Sugimori style pose, especially since I don't know what it looks like yet. I gave it this iconic jaw made of rock, but unfortunately that makes it look too human already. Not many Pokemon have chiseled chins. I gave it this Chad inspired Oni horn, but the pose really caught up with me here. You can't be putting your characters in Jojo poses until you design the character in a simple pose first. Cause how am I gonna put something in a complicated contorted pose if I don't even know what it looks like simply standing yet? So I decided to first design him just straight up standing. He's a wholesome dude who doesn't show off after all. That's how my chat 
interpreted the term Giga Chad. He's definitely got a clay face thing going on here. He's very much humanoid right now. As we design this Chad, we're going to do our best to make his proportions less and less humanoid. Now we're adding the strong man and uh, Oni clothes made of rocks. It's the only solid part of its body. And at this point, I'm just trying to make it look like an animal, so I, I made it very dinosaur-like. Unfortunately, it doesn't really look like what I wanted to. So I'm going to revise it completely. I picked a more dynamic pose and more crystalline eyes. I gave it a slab of rock as a forehead with patterns that subtly mimic eyebrows. This version has less realistic and more simplified Pokemon proportions. The shapes in general are more cartoonish and endearing, instead of a dinosaur rock monster. Sedimentary sediments and variations in the clay color. Take a look at Gigadonis from Giga and Adonis, the handsome lover of the goddess of beauty. The sculpting Pokemon, a ground rock type. Gigadonis' body is made of soft clay that it massages in order to mold into masculine shapes. It is incredibly fond of human anatomy. It treats its body as a canvas, modeling its muscles and sculpting its limbs. It does not do so to show off, but rather to make itself look more approachable. Gigadonis is very polite, patient, and kind. It can contort its body and stretch its limbs in order to dodge attacks and extend its reach in battle. It will merrily end about with its monstrous strength. Its rock-hard jaw can crush boulders. It uses its indestructible horn to dig for more clay to add to its body. They have a signature ability called Clay Body, which makes them resistant to water-type moves, but it lowers their defense whenever they are hit with a water-type move. It's definitely better than being four times weak to water, I'll tell you that. The point is that their clay body just gets soft when hit with water. The shiny is a reference to the GigaChad memes, which are black and white images. God, the beta version of this design sucked. I was depressed with how it turned out, but then I decided to completely revise the pose and proportions, and then it came out amazingly. It looks friendly yet powerful, my favorite kind of Pokemon. Hopefully this video is your favorite type of content, enough to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. Check the description for the music I used, the t-shirts I made for you guys, and my Patreon where you can get cool rewards like seeing my videos days early, which you can also do by clicking the join button and becoming a member. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, where I show sneak peeks of these designs, and I'll see you guys very soon.